All right, so I decided to do a little SCSI experiment. I wanted to see if I could get three samplers on one SCSI bus and sharing one SCSI reader. So that would be four devices connected on one SCSI bus. So I have the uh, Emmy Ultra here, the Akai S5000, and the Kurzweil K2000R. Those three samplers are connected, and they're also connected with the uh, SCSI 2 SD reader. You can see in there. And what I did was this reader supports four virtual hard drives. So I formatted three of them. One for the Amu, one for the Akai, one for the Curse Wow. So I wanted to see if I can get them all to behave on one SCSI bus and able to load files from each hard drive. Before I actually turn these on and test this, let's uh, take a look and see how it's all connected. Okay, so here's our setup. We got the uh, three samplers, the MUE4XT, the Kurzweil K2000, and the Akai S5000, and of course our SCSI 2SD reader. <clears throat> so I put the ID so you can see how the ID is configured. So our samplers are four, five, and six, and then the hard drives within the reader are zero, one, and two, and the fourth one is empty. And before I connected everything, I went and formatted, because I wasn't sure if this was going to work, I went and went ahead and formatted each drive from within the sampler by connecting the reader just to the sampler. Um, so just to make things simpler. Now, if we take a look at the cables in the back, you get an idea how they're chained. The E4XT and the Akai S5000 are at the end of the chain. <clears throat> so they're terminated and these two the K2000 and the SCSI reader are unterminated and the way I unterminated the uh, reader was you you remove the two little yellow resistors from the board and that unterminates the reader so once I had all the DS, all the IDs configured and make sure everything was terminated or unterminated properly I went ahead and connected all the cables and, and that's it. The only other thing I want to mention is the power. The uh, SCSI 2 SD reader doesn't have to be uh, powered with a traditional power source because it can, it can actually uh, get power from the sampler if it supports it, which um, all these three didn't have a problem powering the reader. So as soon as, soon as I turn on one sampler, which in this case is going to be um, the EMU, I'm going to start off with the EMU, it's going to automatically turn on the uh, SCSI reader. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's it. So let's uh, let's give this a shot. So we'll start with the Ultra, then the Kurzweil, and then the Akai. The Akai is the last one in the chain. Um, so let's try this out. So there goes the Ultra. It's doing its thing. Okay, so before I even access the disk function, try to load anything, I'm gonna turn on the other samplers in the chain. So next we're gonna turn on the uh, the curse while. Okay. Now let's turn on the Akai. All right, so all three samples are on. There's no smoke, no fire, so that's a good sign. So now we're gonna load some sounds from each sampler. So let's start with the MU. And let's take a look and see what the MU sees. So D0, that's the first drive there. That's an Akai partition drive, so you can see it even labels it Akai. The second drive is a fat drive, which, which is this MU. I got um, 
4.8 or 4.7 OS on this AMU. So it formats as a fat drive. And the D2 is the uh, curse while. It uh, doesn't recognize curves while, so it just, just shows D2. And the D8 you see here, that's just an internal IDE drive on the AMU. So it's the first three, and they're the fourth one. The, the D3 is not formatted. So it's just these top three here that we're working with. So let's go to the AMU drive. All right, we'll load this. So it's going and you can, you can kind of see a little light flashing on the uh, SCSI reader there. A little hard to see, but. It uh, looks like it's working. So, looks like it loaded that. It was a little slow though, so I'm not sure if that's a result of all these samples being connected. But it did load, so let's try, I'll try the curse wall now. That button's going out here. So the curse wall, Zero is the Akai again, SCSI 1 is the the AMU, and SCSI 2 is the, the Curse Wild, so let's go ahead and load. Alright, we'll load that. Okay, seems to be loading. Let's take a look at the reader, see if it's flashing. Yeah, I see it flashing there. It does seem to be a little slow though, so I have a feeling that has to do with the SCSI bus because these files aren't that big. Or I could just be wrong. Alright, so that that worked. There it is. It's all loaded. Awesome. Let's try the Akai now. So we'll go to load. And the Akai, it sees this is actually an Akai S1000 hard drive, so it shows all the partitions here. Let's go back to. Um, this list so you know this a b c d these are all the partitions all the way to i and then it shows the emmy hard drive and then the that's the curse while it's unknown so it doesn't recognize it so let's go to uh, partition a here and uh, we'll load that That one was fast. And there it is. So all three actually loaded. Nothing blew up. So yeah, I guess it uh, seems to work. I'll be honest, I haven't tested this, you know, for more than a couple days, but I'm not sure if I'd actually want to use something like this because you can easily make the mistake of loading 
samples from two samples at the same time when you're when you're in the middle of writing a song so I'm not sure I want to take that risk but for those of you that uh, like living on the edge there it is three samplers one SCSI reader all kind of behaving on one SCSI bus so yeah leave me your uh, leave me some comments or questions let me know what you guys think uh, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this